thank God for everything he has done. He's the king of kings. I'm not here to celebrate the victory of Tenebu, but I'm here to say glory to God for all he has done for you and I. I have been keeping this, uh, a lot of prophecies for what the Lord is saying in 2025 and 2024. So how fast the Lord has spoken ahead of us. So the Lord is saying there is a word for 2024. This is September 7th already. So there is a word for 2024 and there is a word for 2025. So the Lord keeps pushing me uh, to go um, to the top. Not because I'm righteous, not because I'm holy, not because of anything, but because of His grace and his mercy and god can also use you that is listening to me to also speak to the nation can also speak to people keep sharing it's not yet uh, it's not that late so we should uh, just share the post as i said before i'm not here to celebrate tinebu victory but i'm here to say glory to god for his word has come to pass the lord shows us a different dimension in the prophetic he will tell you, and the moment you start obeying, the Lord will keep increasing His voice with you. But if God stops because you are not obedient, it's because you are too emotional. When serving God, don't be emotional. That's my best advice because don't be used to something. Don't be used. You're so used to a pattern. Don't be used to that area that God has called you. Sometimes He can switch. So at all time, know when to switch and know when to focus on what you're saying. So the reason why God does not speak to you any longer, it is because you have not obeyed Him from the last instruction. So we grow not in the place of prayer in the prophetic ministry, no. We grow through the place of obedience. The Bible said obedience is better than what than sacrifice. So each point that God is speaking to you from is only trying to tell you that you must obey before you get to the level you desire to get. So I know I've gotten a lot of insults from Facebook, from TikTok. Uh, I was so insulted. Uh, I was abused and. Uh, I understand what I'm saying. So I was really abused. So many people calling me names. They were not abusing the people who were not accurate of what God is saying, but I was the one receiving the abuse. So I'm here to say glory to God at the end of the tunnel. There is light. So as I'm talking to you, I don't know how many of your family members, I don't know how many of your family people who have kept you behind, who are saying that you cannot shine, that you cannot rule, that you cannot be blessed. And they have taken you to the spiritual court and to say they are judging you because you will never shine. I'm here to tell you, brothers and sisters, that in the same court of heaven, that you will see your victory, not tomorrow, today that is the 7th of september 2023 that you and i will see our victory we the abuse the rejected stone will be the chief will be the boss will be the lead are you understanding what i'm saying so many of us have been denied in our offices in our family in our place of jobs contracts environment where we're living i don't know what you are going through i don't care I don't give a damn about every challenges you are going through, but I'm here to let you know that whosoever that says you're not going to rule because they disqualify you by one way or the other or the claim that you are too young or you are too old to enjoy these privileges, I decree and I declare that the same God who exists up there would do it for you and I. I'm so much deep in the spirit. This is what I'm telling you. That God is ahead of me. God is ahead of us. That he spoke about 2024 and 2025. Because in the realm of the spirit, we are already into 2024. 
because in the vision this morning, yesterday morning, and I saw myself in 2024, and they opened the door, and I saw, welcome, Apostle, to 2024. And the door was not far from 2025. The door of 2024 was not far, or it's not far, to 2025. So what does that mean? So the first prophecy for 2024 to 2025 is that there's going to be a speed. We are going to so much move into 2024 that before you we know it will also be in 2025 because I saw the rate of six months in the way God is compressing it to move us so quick to 2025. I don't know the reason, but I said I opened the door and the angels of the Lord, they said, welcome to 2024. But we are in September. And while I was trying to be, I'm seeing six months ahead and I'm seeing 2025. And I said, Lord, what is this? And the Lord is saying, I am taking time. I'm compressing the year because there is a lot of things that needs to be done within a short time. You understand what I'm saying? So in 2024, is, a, is going to be called a smart year. I don't know what your man of God is going to say. The year of supernatural, a year of supernatural, a year of this, a year of supernatural, a year of blessing, a year now. In 2024, it's going to be a year, a year, a smart year. It's going to be called a smart year because in 2024, in the space of six months, you will see how we will end up in 2024. Very fast and smart. So I don't know why the Lord is doing it that way, but let us prepare. So the Lord spoke to me concerning 2024 and 2025. I think I'm also going to put some in Amazon. I'm not going to release everything, but I'm going to give a few so that a lot of people don't come and copy it and go and make it their own. And they, 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 they began to take the glory of another man. Meanwhile, the man who had the message is just there, humble, and all that. So 2024 is going to be a smart year. Yeah, it's going to be a smart year. A very smart year. Where we're going to experience technology to the highest. Where we're going to experience the fastness of the day. Are you understand what I'm saying? You are going to be seeing the sun will be shining. But you will never knew it's already 7.30 p.m. Clocking 8. That's when you begin to experience the cloud is getting color. We're going to go into the mystery of smartness in 2024. So we are going to pray. And, but I bet you I'm not going to say everything. Because there's a lot of people who does the copy and the paste. So uh, I'm still going to put them on Amazon. But I won't lie to you, I have like three words for 2026. <laughs> and that word in 2026 is when we are about to lose the king of the United Kingdom in 2026. How fast is that? That's 2026, so 2024, 2025, 2026. So you put it down and that's what is going to happen in 2026 within a short time. So. As the Lord showed me in a vision this morning, and the Lord opened the door. I didn't open the door. The Lord opened the door. And while I try to open the small one in my internet, and the Lord showed me, this is 2024. And they said, Apostle, you are welcome to 2024. And I try to peep again, I saw 2025. So the time is just short. So it's time for we to prepare our mind and everything and all, and all that. The world is changing from wickedness to consequences, to death, to dangerous crimes, to dangerous challenges, to issues, evil things to the world. I don't know what people profit to gain the whole world and to lose their soul. So as much as you want to be so great in life, let time walk with God to bring your manifestation. A lot of wickedness is going on in this world, so the Lord is coming.
press it with him for this time to come. And the Armageddon is coming to us because we only have seven years remaining. And the worst of all, I think it's time to worship. I love the song. It draws the spirit into me so thick. So before the 2024 and 2025 prophetic word, I'm going to be speaking to a few people. And we are 83 people in on Facebook, so please keep sharing. TikTok is still 61. I think uh, TikTok should join Facebook, Abel Tamano, me, Nabo. When you just go there, you will see me live direct. I'm wearing this white, so you can just come join Facebook so that I can cancel the TikTok, please, except you're not on, uh, on Facebook. Lift up your heads. No. He has brought you until this day. You are still alive on the 7th of September 2023. Lift up your head and just begin to appreciate Him and tell Him thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Tell, tell Him thank you. See how much you have. Sharing. See how far he has brought me. Huh? How far he has brought me. Since last year, he was talking about the election. He said he will win. They abused me. Because they don't worry. I'll prove them wrong. 
they will go to election. He said, I will still prove the wrong. You can't serve God with emotion. Never. God doesn't look at your emotion. He looks at his instruction. When was the last time you obeyed God's instruction? Huh? When was the last time? You say, God, God doesn't speak to me anymore. It is because you disobeyed him. Check your obedience level. Do you know you can pray for 100 days and be disobedient for one day and he will speak to you? You must come to the place of obedience for you to grow. You want to grow? Be obedient. Be obedient to your spouse. Be obedient to your parents. Be obedient to your mentors. Be obedient to your father in the Lord. Be obedient to even that little child that is telling you this thing you are doing. So many great men have fallen because they feel or they felt they knew it or knew nothing. Are you understand what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, why you always smile? I'll tell you something very profound. I'll tell you something very profound. I was with my little cousin. I was my little cousin, my uncle's second, and they call it second to the last. And that night I was so angry. Somebody told me something on TikTok. I was so I was so furious. I feel like cursing the person. God said, be patient, my son. You only have a few days left to prove to them that I called you. But I was angry. That my cousin told me, hmm, why are you doing like this? My uncle's wife was there too. I said, what did I do? So you are behaving like a child. Never you take action when you hear a word. Dilute it, dissect it, understand it before you react. The girl, the little girl of Jess one, a three Jess two told me, why are you always behaving like a child? Man to answer. What do you mean? She refused to ask. I both of you made shut up, my friend. She was very calm as she was looking at my action. She said, This my daughter can talk, but she didn't say. And I said, Why do you say so? Why did you tell Uncle Ibe like that? The little girl said, He's always smiling like a child. <laughs> I laughed. I said, If I get angry, you can't stay with me. So let me keep smiling like a. And the Lord said, have you heard it from a child? Having the heart of a child is better than having the heart of a mature baby. Are you understand what I'm saying? He said, every time you are just smiling. What is so... <laughs> In the car yesterday, we were coming from the church, going from one church. Some people say they wanted to see me. I said, I'm busy. They say it's a lie, we'll see you. So I took them to all the churches I went to. <laughs> they were stressed. Took them, we'll finish here, move to another one, move to another one. While we were coming back, I was laughing in the car. That was where I got my inspiration from the Holy Spirit. I said, <laughs> my destiny here, but if I'm if I am the one that finds you, <laughs> you won't like it. I was just like, oh, you. the lady was looking at me. I said, sir, do you laugh all the time? I said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I get angry, but <laughs> the once in a while I get angry, if you are there, you, you will run. But at all times, let joy fill your heart. Don't feel bad. So if a little cousin of mine, say, you're always behaving like a child. I was calm. Looking at her, I said, Why did you say so? She said, You always laugh like a child. And God said, I told you, 
and you have the heart of a and she ended it by saying you have the heart of God you're a man after God's heart so that means a child can speak from God but if they tell you now this child you don't have respect why why you slap you <laughs> uh, not if somebody tells you you are stupid it's not an insult hmm? At that time, you are stupid. You don't. You are not thinking right. It's not an insult. Everything is not an insult. He insulted me. Learned, my mother said, learn to live with mad people. It will help you. Praise God. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. I heard the Lord just now. He said, I'm fixing that relationship. You lost a precious relationship as I'm talking to you. Someone, you lost a very cherishable relationship. And since that relationship was lost, you've been asking God, restore back my relationship with this specific person. The Lord said he's restoring back that relationship in the name of Jesus. This relationship will take you abroad. This relationship will bless you financially. The relationship will take you to places you've never assumed in life. And the relationship will teach you how to act, live, and how to stay long. As a born again Christian, never you walk away from a relationship that will bless you. It takes humility to stay faithful. It takes what? Humility to stay faithful. It takes the consciousness of God to keep relationship. Never you said, is a poor, is a not cheap, is a very stupid term. Let him go. Someone else better will come. There is no better one. Who the one that you have? Are you understand what I'm saying? Someone is telling you, I love you. And you are telling the person you're a pastor. <laughs> Does wife fall from ground? Ah, it doesn't fall from ground now. You're on it. Make yourself approachable. Some ladies are too big to approach. And they are struggling. They are saying, God, I want to marry. But people can't approach you. What kind of human being are you? What kind of self? Are you understand what I'm saying? Walk on yourself. Hmm? Walk on your. Walk on yourself. There is a woman listening to me right now. You are experiencing miscarriages in your marriage, in your pregnancy. Right now, as I'm talking to you, this pregnancy will stay in your life in the name of Jesus. This pregnancy will stay in your life. The pregnancy, the pregnancy. Thank you, mighty Father. I see this pregnancy. It's not going anywhere. It's staying. Lord, have God to worship you. Glory to God. That pregnancy will stay. It's not going anywhere. Huh? See? TB Foundation is going to be holding a ATP Foundation is going to be having a program. ATP Foundation is going to be uh, having a program in september 22 uh, i'm giving up to 20 up to 20 000 books so we need more money 20 000 books we need money a lot 
of money. So I want to do back to school so you can support us in dollars in Naira. After this program, you can inbox me direct of Messenger and I will get back to you as I can. I promise you, I will reply everybody. So please talk to us. As there are fake us. There is a fake Abel now and there is also a fake us. As. So when you go to them, they say talk to us. As. They will not say, oh, um, go and support our foundation in learn. We don't have any foundation apart from ATB Foundation. And the foundation of ATB is in Access Bank, which is Abel Terminal in Abo Bomab. So please do not fall in the hands of scam. Try to see their faces, try to see the Osas face, and try to see the their so-called men of God. They're trying to use me to cause a lot of scam so that people can arrest me, but I'm not part of that. Are you understanding what I'm saying? So we only have one way, which is Access Bank which is Abel, Terminal Minabo, except you want to give it to Osas account, which you must see his, of course, Osas is the only one who's going to give you a contact to reach out to me. And Osas is the only one who will talk to me. And when you're talking to me, you will see my face. Be very careful. Support our program and be a blessing. So I want to say, please support the ministry. God bless you. Keep embossing on, um, on TikTok, on YouTube. Go and subscribe to my channel, Prophet Abel T. Boomer. Subscribe there and God bless you, please. And also, so uh, the account number, you, you can have your book and pen because somebody just said, oh, I wish I have the account number. I would have supported. So you can write the number down immediately. I'm going to call it for you. And I'm going to call it for you. Uh, it's Access Bank. Access bank or SAS, if you're listening to me you can post it access bank is 0077 margaret also posted margaret posted 0077 so that is that is the account uh number Access Bank, Nigeria. Okay, th thank you. Post it so that they, they will see it. So support the ministry, $50, $100, $200. We can even collect uh, the phone number.